is your father? Who is your father? That's the title of this message. Who is your father? Jesus said, thou art Peter, and upon this rock I build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail, right? This ain't going to be a long video. I'm going to say something to you people of God, especially you who believe in Jesus. If Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, is your Lord and your Savior, all right, then you need to stand firm in your foundation. Because let me tell you something. The body of Yeshua, we are the body. It has many members. It has been infiltrated. And you have some people following off over here, following off over there, following off over there. But God has called his people back to be in alignment with him. And I'm going to tell you something. There's a difference between religion and reality. God is reality. Yeshua HaMashiach is reality. See, religion is this. When you see, see, I, I can, you, let me tell you what, who I am, what my foundation is. I am a woman of God. And because I am a woman of God, I am of my father and my father is his word. And so therefore you will find the word in me because I am of my father. You see what I'm saying? There's no missing match. There's no wishy-washy. You see, there's no contamination. Am I perfect? No, I got flaws. I'm imperfect. But you're going to see my father in me and you're going to know my foundation. You see what I'm saying? Now, when someone says... Religion, I'm not a religious person because God is not in religion. It suffered man. It suffered God to have man make religion. You see, God wanted all of us. He wants a personal relationship with all of us. But you know, human beings always look to a man or a, woman, a human being, another human being, basically. I'm saying a man. I don't literally need a man, a man, a woman, human being. You know, they don't seek God for themselves. They don't study the word for themselves. And so hence why you can have a lot of people who say they are of the father, right? But they follow after those who are not of the father. Or they follow after those who make it seem as though they are of the father. But they are not. They are faulty foundations. And see, religion is Judaism. That's religion. Islam. That's a religion. Christianity. That's a religion. Scientology, that's a religion. Buddhism, that's a religion. You see, those are what religions are. I am not religion. I am a woman of God and I am of my father. And those who follow him will resemble him. The foundation is the word of God, right? So therefore, God is his word. So you will see me deeply and solid rooted in the word of God. Now, I've taken the words of God, which God has placed it in my spirit. And it is my duty as a kingdom representative to study the words of God, to put the pieces of my father together and make it make sense. Not to contaminate my soul with the things of the world or push divination or the things of the Antichrist because he is not my father right? I should have no works with the, un, no, no, no relation with the unfruitful works of darkness. And I shall not hide it. I shall not cover it up. And so therefore, as I studied the word of God, and as I drew closer and closer to my father, when there was darkness in me, when I had came into unrighteous covenants, right? Putting me at opposition of my God, marrying over to other gods, I didn't know I was wrong. But when I learned that this thing did not please my father, I divorced those other gods. I did it publicly and I separated myself and I renounced those things that were hidden. I took up my mantle and I walked with my God. So therefore, my God's word does not offend me. But there are some who say they are of God and they are offended at the word of God, right? Because they are not really of God. There are some who claim to be his elect, his chosen, but they are not rooted in the word of God. And even if they don't know the word of God, 
they will not be offended at his word because he is his word. They will be eager to learn and they too will become an ambassador of the word and they will make it make sense. And as you fall in love with his word, you're falling in love with him. It is him through his Ruach HaKadosh, his Holy Spirit, that gives divine revelation to put the pieces together. Man has made religion and it has divided God's people. God had an encounter. Jesus, the Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, oh, he had an encounter with Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Yes, he had a direct encounter with Muhammad. You see, when I say the name Jehovah, I am referring to my God. When I say the name El, I am referring to my God. <laughs> when I say the name Jah, I am referring to my God. When I say the name Allah, I am referring to my God. He has many names. You understand? Hmm? You see, those who are trapped in religion, they will stick with their doctrines, right? And they will stay divided. Those who follow God will study his word to show themselves approved and they will get an alignment. And as the word shows them the unrighteousness within themselves, they will clean it up. And they may have some struggles from here and there. It's okay. We all do. None of us is perfect. We're striving for perfection, but we will not become angry or offended at the word of God. We will rightfully divide it. Why? Because we are of God, of our father. But if that foundation be faulty and there be contamination within us, and we are not who we say we are, but we are pretending to be a sheep when we are really a wolf. Then we will become opposers and secret haters and enemies of those who are the elect. God is not religion. He is reality. You see, Mormonism is a religion. But Mormon, he was a man. <laughs> he is not a religion. And he has a book, right? of several of the prophets of God. Man has divided off that book and they have separated. But you see his son, Moroni, right? He gives the account of some of the relationships that Jesus had with many of the different people and prophets that some folk follow as the head of their religion. But I live to tell you God is not religion. He is reality. And as you study to show thyself approved, you too may see that many of our brothers and sisters may be under the leadership or direction of a religion but that does not mean they are not our brothers and sisters. And then you will see there are some who are not under the leadership and direction of a religion. And they have infiltrated the body of Yah, the body of Christ. And they have played on the ignorance and the lack of knowledge of the people of God. They have brought in their witchcrafts and their divinations, their magic, their idols. They have slithered right on in. They have used the name of God. They have claimed the titles of God's elect, but they are really not. And they get angry. They get angry when, as they are now beginning to see the true elect rise. Hmm? But there is nothing that can be done out of their simple fleshly anger. God will prove those who are truly of him, which he is now doing, right? Elijah 
was one man, a prophet of God. And Elijah, by the power of God and his uniqueness, made fun of Jezebel's prophet, 850 of them. And he slaughtered them. Then Jezebel want to put a hit out on him. Because she was not of the father. So I say to you, people of God, those of you who are signed, sealed, and delivered, you know that Jesus the Christ is your Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach. If you know that he is your Savior and your foundation is truly of God, then you should be bold about it. You should profess it with your mouth and proclaim it and keep your head held high. And never waver in your foundation. So anyway, you that have an ear, I know you have heard. Have a blessed night in the name of Jesus.